गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हमें ऑडिबल Uh, now sorry for that uh, there was a technology technical issue in uh, audio can you hear hear me uh, sorry for that yeah me now okay now Please let me know so that I pass. Okay. I hope you can uh, me now. Uh, the sound device automatically turned off. That was the issue. I think it is being rectified. And now, okay. Thank you. Be positive. Uh, the is um, uh, whenever you study science and technology, you need to understand two basics. Basic 
facts. The first one is you should understand the science, basic facts and basic science in your NCRTs. That should be your primary focus. There will be multiple number of questions from science and technology. If uh, example for the there was uh, very number of questions from science and technology itself. So you can expect around a 10 or 12 questions from it, it will be one of the most rewarding sessions of prelims first thing is you need to focus on your basic ncrt textbooks so that you will be having a basic science or basic science and relatives and second thing is you need to understand change or the technological advances in the recent era and whenever you study technology Technology advancements, there will be multiple number of that. You, you should be focusing on a single idea, rather, you should be on a path breaking or a that is being integrated into society. Okay, your primary idea. And uh, in this period, that is uh, COVID 19 period, you should also understand. And the ideas and uh, technological development is COVID. There is different types of tests. There is uh, developed uh, low cost in uh, low cost materials, medicines, and different medical equipment. Okay, there is ventilator. You should also understand that. And we have housed every technological development and science and technology related to Indian and has been added to our description do, do down and go through that it is uh, it is only of 10, uh, 9 to 10 pages just go through that almost every aspect uh, covid 19 and related issues has been compelled by us do download that from description it will be better and uh, today i will not be dealing with the of covid 19 today i will be focusing on other things that is uh, there is different there is space there is a uh, basic sense we will be focusing on that i have compiled uh, uh, almost uh, 20 topics for today just go through that and also you should also prepare for, for 19 related talks okay and uh, let's first topic is antarctic impulsion antenna or basically or Anita that is <coughs> in this session you should understand what Anita is for example whenever there is a thing related to certain other aspects of science you should also understand the functioning of that or the new development and also the basic facts regarding to the science behind it okay first first one is uh, Anita you should just understand what is what and it and who developed and it is developed by the nasa first nasa observatory for, for neutrinos it is a designed to detect ultra high energy cosmic ray neutrinos from scientific balloon flying over the continent of and okay that is it is located in and it is located in Antarctica. It is a it is on my dude. It aims to observe neutrinos. It is developed by NASA. That is all you need. Right? If there is a question on Antarctic impulsive transient antenna, understand that it is located in Antarctica. It will be flying over big balloon. It is developed by NASA and it aims to observe neutrinos. That's it. That's the only thing you need. But related to that, you should also understand the importance of neutrinos. Okay, the topic is and related topic will be neutrinos. What is a neutrino and what is the use of neutrinos? Okay, that is neutrinos are second most abundant particles in the universe. You should also find out what is the first most abundant or most abundant particle in the universe uh, just search for the find it okay the second most abundant particle in the universe 
and very feature of this is they interact with anything and pass through everything that's why hard to detect that is it is very it will interact very little even we will be having nutritious passing through most of time that is it will be passing and everybody without interacting with them so very hard to detect them if a particle is interacting with certain identifiers for example a radio telescope can identify whenever it interacts but the base features that they will not interact with anything and feature is they carry no electrical charge that is their the neutrinos are not positive or negative that is they are or no electrical charge and are nearly less it is very close to mass very the weight will be very 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 low it is a neglect and that means they are very nearly they are less and they are produced in the core sun that is they are produced in the core sun there can be a statement that uh, the neutrinos are the surface of the sun that is not correct they are produced in the and millions of them roam around in we can see numerous neutrinos within the solar system itself and can also be artificially made they can also be made artificially by radio decays radio is nuclear reactors and related to that in india in observatory was proposed in the any district of tamil nadu that is nice. that is they are the second most most girls they invite very little interact or interact very little with anybody they are developed from they are almost massless and charges it can be made artificially and in india we are proposing india based neutrino observatory in their district okay these are the basic facts regarding neutrinos and there can be a question there can be an application level question similar to the uh, similar to uh, these features or related to these features why all the neutrinos nodes are located within the earth or in most ec more extreme climates or conditions there can, can be a question the reason is normal condition there will be different types of noises even with neutrinos are hard to detect because they are not, not interacting with any body since they are more noises within the normal situation or in the uh, city or in our life we cannot use that to identify neutrinos we will be using underground observatory or in arctic region or in atmosphere we will be using any of these to identify neutrinos there will be less number of noises that can be a question you should also understand that as well okay that is uh, second topic third one is atom is a code for responsible space exploration or just understand is a code there can be a question similar to this uh, like um, what do you mean by atomic accords or what is the objective of atomic accords the atomic accords are series of is a bilateral agreement between nasa international partners that want to cooperate on this program okay uh, it provides for the atomic program moon mission under which it will land first the next man on moon okay artemis codes is nothing but it is a bilateral agreement between nasa and our international partners for responsible exploration and want to artemis program and artemis 
program itself aims to put first woman and the next man on in 2024 okay that is the basic idea of artemis accords for rational space exploration the question will be very basic either that is the objective of artemis accords or what do you mean by or they will be giving the artemis accord is uh, um, an agreement made by un and a multi agreements there can be a question similar to that or statements similar to that will be your question term. okay just understand things fourth one is osiris rex it is almost osiris rex always in uh, for past four or five years and importance of osiris rex is that or uh, the relevance of osiris rex is that it will be on the asteroid bin on October. Scheduled for October. That is by October will be landing on bin. So it is very important for your So a milestone is going to be achieved by Series X. That is the first man made object on in asteroids. Okay, it was launched in 2016 and part by 2021. It will collect the samples from Venus and return by uh, start apart from by 2021 and will reach 2023. This is, that is the basic idea of Osiris X. This is also important for your prelims 2020. You should also do this. Okay. sound clear now can you hear me if they let me know please let me know i think it is going okay, okay. hear me Okay, uh, we'll be moving to next topic that is is ransomware and event board trojan. Is ransomware and event board trojan. This is nothing but means is a ransomware and what is a trojan. The first thing to understand is means is a ransom event board is a trojan. The importance of uh, uh, means it is a ransomware attacking and its uh, computers in a network or under six of ransomware a ransomware attack infects computers in a network and encrypts file for example you have a web file or a uh, excel sheet and you have stored your data on excel sheet and what happens is the ransomware will be converting it into a non accessible format for example r y g okay that is a format that will not be run by your system and they will be to completely encrypting your files to return back these you will need to pay certain ransom to the attackers that that is the basic ransomware that is ransomware will attack the computers and, sorry attack the computers and will encrypt your data so you are so your data will be lost if you are not paying the ransom that is the idea of ransom and uh, in recent uh, 2019 sky security identified that three prominent ransom ways ryuk Burga, and stop 
was attacking India. That is Ryuk, Purga, and the tanky India. And the second one is event, event boat is nothing but a mobile banking trojan. Event boat is a banking trojan which will be attacking the information or it is an information stream targeting the financial uh, apps with it. for example google pay ford pay beam etc they will be financial apps so that they can get from mids that is the basic idea of event board even trojan trojan is nothing but it will be personating as Hello all. Can you hear me now? Yes, okay. Uh, we will continue. Uh, there was an issue with uh, connection. Connection got disconnected. Okay, uh, next one is ransomware and uh, even bot Trojan. I will be starting with this. That is, a ransomware attacks the computers and will encrypting the files within that. And it will ask for certain ransom to be paid so that you can bring back your important files. That is the basic idea of ransomware. At the same time, Trojan will be impersonating as certain other softwares and you will be thinking that it will be beneficial for you and you will be downloading and installing it after installing <coughs> it will show its original character it will be attacking your system that is uh, the event bot is a mobile bo banking trojan that is you will be after installing it will try to attack your financial answer uh, financial apps at the same time ransomware maze is a ransomware it will be asking for your remuneration or it will be asking for certain ransom to reproduce your reproduce your various documents Okay, that is the idea of my ransomware and Trojan bots. Okay, understand this. There can be a question on what do you mean by ransomware or what do you mean by a Trojan virus. Okay, next one is face up or forward search experience. In this question, uh, in this topic, you just need to understand what face is. There is nothing other than this is needed. Just understand what is forward search experiment phaser is a proposed experiment dedicated to searching light and extremely extremely weakly interacting particle at the large hadron collider that it aims to identify various weakly interacting particles from lhc or large hadron collider the name suggests uh, may shows that it will be similar to certain uh, satellite missions or uh, like that the forward search experiment is nothing but it is a proposed experiment to identify weakly interacting particles in large hadron collider just understand that that is only required that is it is experimented in lhc or large hadron collider and also it aims to identify weakly interacting particles in lhc that is the only thing you need in phaser okay next one is Einstein ring this this is very important for your prelims uh, there is always certain question related to space science so uh, do read about Einstein ring if you have any doubt go uh, search it and identify what Einstein ring is it is nothing but a um, very simply put it will be like a magnifying glass that is or Einstein ring is will be acting as a 
magnifying glass that is according to general relativity theory of Albert Einstein light can get deflected when passing through a gravitational field of a massive body that is if there is a gravitational body there is a chance that the light will bend or light will the light get deflected in the gravitational field therefore a gravitational lens is a very huge gravitational field where the light gets deflected for example Einstein ring is a gravitational lens which is formed when the galaxy cluster is so closely aligned that the otherwise divergent light is focused as a visible ring by them uh, as a simple idea this is a distant object this is us watching a distant star from earth this will be a gravitational lens or a Einstein ring okay the entire idea is known as gravitational lens whenever a light passes through the lens it will be get deflecting or it will be deflecting from the lens towards us that means we will be seeing two different objects instead of a single object and also more and more detailed analysis can be done or more and more clarity can be provided through Einstein ring. that is they will be uh, it is working similar to a lens the working will be very equivalent to lens it will be making the entire source bigger and also you can identify two different objects instead of one that is the there will be a two images of the single source due to the deflection that is the basic idea of Einstein ring it will magnify the distant object so that better observation can be made near the Einstein ring that is the idea of Einstein ring okay you got the idea hope you got the idea we'll be mo moving towards the next topic that is it's one nuclear triad uh, you should understand the parts of nuclear triad and india's weapons i have uh, identified um, i i am giving you a in a serial that was why nuclear triad was in the news we should also identify our strategic bombers like mig uh, mig 29 and uh, other one etc and icbms we have agni okay all these should be linked to together okay the first one is what do you mean by a nuclear triad a nuclear triad refers to the three components of a atomic weapon delivery system that is there will be strategic bombers in india that is mig uh, there is second one is intercontinental ballistic missiles or in India it is Agni and third one is submarine launched ballistic missiles in, the, in India INS Harihant become nuclear powered submarine successfully completing his first deterrence patrol which is the third most important section of nuclear triad okay and India has achieved nuclear triad through the deployment of INS IHAT. In this, understand that you need to identify all the strategic bombers, uh, bombers including MiG. You should understand intercontinental ballistic missiles like Agni, and third one is INS IHAT, which is capable of delivering submarine launched ballistic missiles. Okay, all these composers nuclear triad. Okay, this is also known as Cold War Triad. Okay, that is it. The next one is Free Space Optical Communication or FSOC. Space Free Space Optical Communication or FSOC. It is <coughs> sorry, it is an optical communication technology in which data is transmitted by propagation of light in free space allowing optical connectivity in uh, the technological aspects of uh, FSOC is similar to light fi or li-fi where 
there will be communication between a light source and different commu uh, computers in this network or fsoc network there will be line of sight communication between two different optical transceivers okay that is fsoc is similar to or free space optical communication is similar to optical fiber cable instead of the instead of the optical fiber they will be using air air or vacuum will be the channel for fsoc and the benefit of this is it is capable of sending up to 1.25 gigabits per second communication speed or it can provide a speed of 1.25 gbps the issue will be it is a line of sight communication technology that means both the transceivers should be in line of sight if something is blocking them this communication will not happen for example even a paper or even a blackboard or somebody standing between them will be affecting the communication quality okay this is free space optics wireless network or free space optical communication system uh, the reason for th this being in use is the google and its subsidiary x has provided certain equipments for andhra pradesh to develop fsoc networks in andhra pradesh okay uh, this is very important this is a new technology in free space optical communication or uh, new technology in uh, communication itself you should understand this you can also add important topics such as white fi by microsoft then google's lunar is there sorry google loon is there then there is some some programs by facebook go through all this identify who is the proposer of these ideas and there is also uh, you should also learn about uh, starlink by tesla or spacex that is spacex i think that is starlink by spacex you should also go through starlink by spacex that is very important for your preparation okay starlink by spacex go through that as well okay next one is paris code just understand what is paris code it is proposed in unesco internet governance forum convened in paris and the paris called for trust and security in cyberspace uh, it aims at developing common principles in securing cyberspace that is it aims to develop certain common principles to develop securing or to secure cyberspace the primary aim of paris call is to secure cyberspace through certain common principles and the important feature of paris call is that the prominent countries like india us china russia did not sign the agreement that is the major countries in the world didn't sign the agreement so it is not going to happen effectively or efficiently that is it happened in unesco internet governance forum in paris it aims to develop certain common common principles for securing cyberspace and the countries like india us china and russia did not sign the agreement okay next one is biosimilar biosimilar that is a biosimilar is a medicine or a biosimilar medicine is a biological medicine that is developed to be highly similar and clinically equivalent to an existing biological medicine for example paracetamol if some other company is developing a similar medicine equivalent to very much similar to paracetamol then it can be termed as biosimilar a biosimilar contains a version of active substances of an already approved biological medicine which is referred to as the reference medicine or originator medicine and it is a biologic medical product highly similar to another already approved biological medicine 
Biosimilars are approved according to the same standards of pharmaceutical quality, safety and efficacy that apply to biological medicine. For example, uh, there will be C6H24O6 dot H2 or dot NH2 dot something 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 this will be the component of a certain medicine and I will be changing that this part will be C6H12O6 this will be this can be identified as a sugar component and I will be changing this sugar component to some other sugar component fructose or lactose or some other thing and that means it is a biosimilar that is it will be very much equivalent to the already existing medicine but there will be certain difference and the already approved medicine will be known as reference medicine or originator medicine and biosimilar will be getting permission to sell in the commercial market only after thorough evaluation okay that is the idea of biosimilars next one is interstitium interstitium is very important for your prelims 2020 Industrium is nothing but it is the 80th organ identified in the body 79th or 80th I think it is 80th that is a new human organ called interstitium has been identified by the scientist they are fluid filled compartments found beneath the skin and they were earlier considered as a dense connective tissue and they may act as a shock absorbers that protect the body tissue from damage that is interstitium is below the skin which is protecting or acting as a shock absorber protecting from the body tissues protecting body tissues from the damage it is a newly identified human organ in the human body okay i think it is 80th human organ in the body okay that is interstitium there can be most probably there can be a question on what do you mean by interstitium so just understand what is it and where it is located okay. that is it there is no other need for the same okay next one is project dupe project dupe it is a nationwide campaign launched by fssi along with ncrt nmdc and North MCD schools. Uh, it is done by FSSI, NCRT, and NMDC or New Delhi NDMC, sorry, New Delhi uh, Municipal Corporation. It aims to spread the awareness about consumption of vitamin D through natural sunlight. Okay. It aims to spread awareness about consumption of vitamin D through natural sunlight and consuming fortified food among school going children that is the two primary aim is to spread the awareness about consumption of vitamin d through sunlight and consuming fortified food among school going children and next one is the project urges the school to shift their morning assembly timing to noon time most probably everyone will be believing that the most efficient absorption of vitamin d happens during the morning time that is from six o'clock to nine o'clock but project dupe suggests that every school should be shifting their assembly towards noon so that better absorption or absorb optimal levels of vitamin d through natural sunlight that is they say fssi says that the sun change from 11 am to 1 pm is the most beneficial for bones of human body because during that the time best uvb radiation is received so regarding this you have understood the basic facts that is it is by fssi nc ncrt ndmc etc and it aims to spread the awareness of vitamin d consumption through natural sunlight and also consuming fortified food and they suggest that the assembly should be moved towards noon so that there will be better absorption that is the better or optimum level of absorption of vitamin d for bones happens in noon that is from 11 am to 1 pm okay just understand that that is project do there can be a question on uv a 
UVB and UVC. You should also go through UVA, B and C. What is the importance? What is the difference? And how it is harmful for us? You should also go through that. Okay, that is project do. Next one is graphene. Graphene is uh, important for your prelims from 2000 itself. Uh, you can see almost every prelim smoke test will be having certain questions on graphene. So just understand what is graphene and you will be having a basic question on you may have a certain questions on graphene that is graphene form of a carbon consist of planar sheets that is they will be one atom thick that is almost there does not have a height they will be considered as a two dimensional structure with the atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice that is this is the hexagonal lattice atoms will be arranged in a hexagonal lattice and it will be most planar form of carbon that is it is a honeycomb shaped lattice and will carbon will be consists of one atom thick and the feature is they are very good conductor of electricity and heat for example carbon is not a real life conductor of electricity or heat but graphene is a conductor of electricity and heat and they are 200 times stronger than steel and nearly transparent that will be beneficial for developing aircrafts spacecrafts etc that is they are not only good conductor they are stronger than the existing steel and nearly they can act as nearly a transparent material okay this is graphene okay is there any doubt if you have any doubt let me know okay next one is global partnership on artificial intelligence or gpi it is not gpay it is gpi that is gpi is a multi stakeholder international partnership to promote a responsible and human centric development and use of a responsible and human centric use of a that is it aims to grow gpi or global partnership on artificial intelligence aims to provide for a responsible and human centric development and use of a and it will be focusing on human rights inclusion diversity innovation economic growth etc and members include india us uk european union australia canada france germany italy japan mexico new zealand republic of korea singapore and slovenia okay all these should be learned that is india is a member of gpi first thing is you should understand india is a member of gpi gpi aims to promote a responsible and human centric development and next one is GPA will be supported by a secretariat to be hosted on OECD in Paris and by two centers of expertise each in Montreal and Paris that is the basic idea of GPA that is GPA's objective is to promote responsible and human centric use of AI and India US UK and almost major countries are part of GPA go through the members and last one is GPA will be supported by a <coughs> secretariat to be hosted within OECD that's it that's the only thing you needed for prelims 2020. If there is a question, you can answer with this itself. Okay. Next one is BIO or BIO. It is a <coughs> COVID-19 blockchain platform. It is country's first COVID-19 blockchain platform. It will convert clinical and vaccination data of citizens currently from physical form to digital assets and it is developed by belfrix bt a global blockchain startup along with yosync yosync a startup incubated in iit iit bangalore that is bio or bio focus on a developing a blockchain platform for covid related 
ideas that is they will convert the clinical and vaccination data of citizen directly from physical form to digital forms or digital assets and these digital assets can can be accessed by contract trace, tracing apps like India's one Arogya Sedu that one okay it can be accessed by Arogya Sedu that's the idea of BIO okay next one is captain arjun this can be a possible question captain arjun it is a robot launched by rpf or railway protection force pune to intensify the screening and surveillance it is launched to screen passengers while they board trains and keep watch on antisocial elements that is captain arjun is nothing but a robot launched by railway protection force to intensify the screening and surveillance okay the, the prior idea of captain energy is to intensify the screening and surveillance of railway stations and related it is launched by railway protection force and next one is marich marich is nothing but it is a indigenously developed torpedo decoy system inducted by indian navy recently it is a indigenously developed is developed by india that is indigenously developed torpedo decoy system inducted by indian navy recently and it is designed and developed by drdo and bel drdo and bel partners together to develop marich okay that is the idea of marich okay it is indigenously developed torpedo decoy system okay next one is season portal it is developed by or it is a it is an <coughs> ingenization portal developed by department of defense protection the main objective of the portal is to partner the private sector in indigenization efforts of defense public sector undertakings ordnance factory board armed forces etc it is one stop shop online portal that provides access to vendors to take up items that can be taken for indigenization that is the primary aim of the region portal is to enhance the indigenization of weapons industry or defense industry in the country okay that is the most important topics for prelims 2020 it does not means that you should only learn these 19 topics and you will be getting every questions from science and technology uh, this 19 statements will be uh, focusing on the most important ones you should at least learn this also you should also go through the important topics and all the topics revise almost every topics from your current affairs notes or whatever it is we should also go go through that because this is the most important topics there can be a chance of that a uh, few questions from these will repeat in your prelims 2020 and uh, tomorrow we will be moving to another topic <coughs> we will be identifying maximum of 20 topics from every section and we will be discussing it in uh, this uh, class or these sessions you just go through this get an idea also revise your topics that is the idea behind prelims then program and also subscribe to our channel and also spread the word and do download the covid related science and technology issues given in description box you should download these because it is very important for your prelims if i am going to take covid related science and technology initiative it will be a long session uh, that's why i have provided it as a uh, compilation download it and get the basic idea related to antibody antigen etc all that should be learned by you because it is very important for your prelims so all covid related data are important for your prelims because different types of innovations and different types of technology updation was happening throughout the period you should also get the idea that is the idea we will see again tomorrow same time 5 pm okay then Bye, take care, revise and practice.